What is going on YouTube? We are back with another video. First things first, no, I'm not a Dodgers fan. Second things first, even though the coronavirus scare is going on right now, there's still work to be done. What project I'm working on today is gonna to be taking some two by fours, some one by fours, and turning it into a rolling cart for the person that actually cuts my hair. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool project. I'm excited to do this. So the first step that we're gonna do is rip these two by fours into essentially two by twos. So on the last clip, I ripped the two by four directly in half. And then to get a 13 by 13 square, which is what I'm going for, I cut obviously two pieces at 13 inches in length. And then these middle pieces here at uh, nine and a half inches. And it gave me my perfect 13 by 13 square. So we need four of these. That means I got three more to make. Let's get to it. We have the shelving frame for two shelves there, shelves three and four right there. So now the next step is gonna be assembling the frames. And the way I plan to do that is by using pocket holes. And I use my Craig jig obviously to make said pocket holes. So I'm gonna assemble the shelves right now. assembled all the other frames of each shelf. So my next step is I'm gonna take the one by four and trim them to 13 inch pieces and see how many I will need to line the bottom of these frames so that it creates the shelf for each of the frames on this cart. We're gonna have four levels, obviously, hence why I have the four frames. So I bought about four pieces of one by four. I'm gonna cut them to 13 inches. We'll see how many we end up using and we'll get these shelves knocked out. So I cut three pieces at the 13 inches, like I was saying, and this just gives you a rough idea of what these will look like all assembled. I have some glues, uh, some glue and some screws and or uh, brad nails to secure these panels to the bottom of here, but this will give you a general idea of what it'll look like. So we got one shelf down, three more to go. I held up two fingers, as I said, three more to go. All right. Now we have all four shelves cut for each of the frames. Uh, we're just gonna take some 80 grit, some 220 grit, sand these down, get them ready to stain, and then it'll be assembly all right, so time. I finished sanding everything down with the 80 and the 220 grit. Next, I'm getting ready to stain all the pieces. We are using this Varathane wood stain. It is their sun bleached stain. Uh, this is the first time I've ever worked with this. Um, it's definitely a thicker consistency. Um, it's been out in my garage for a few days and it's still a little cold, so maybe that might be why. I'm stirring this bad boy up real, real good. Get a nice consistency to it. Then we're gonna lay down some stain. Here, 
everything has been stained, assembled. I'm probably, I put staples in there just to hold them in place. Or not staples, brad nails. I put them in there to hold the, all those shelving slats in place. The next thing I'm gonna do is probably add some screws like in the middle of each of those planks, just to make sure, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. And then the next thing we're gonna do is rip down the legs that this cart is gonna rest on. And I'm gonna just rip these at one inch thick. And then I'm gonna plan out the assembly, sand the legs, stain them, then assemble it. So let's get into it. I ripped down that two by four in basically two sections. I did an inch uh, thick on the right hand side of the piece of wood, then an inch thick on the left hand side of the piece of the wood. Cut them at 36 inches tall because that's how tall the client wanted the cart. And then I actually used these uh, wheels that are about two inches tall. So this is actually going to sit at about 38 inches tall, but you can check it out. This thing rolls like a gem. All the swivels, boom, flawless, flawless. And the wheels actually have locks on them too, which will be helpful because obviously you don't want a cart rolling around while you're cutting somebody's hair. And if you're trying to reach for something and it's not there, then you, you get thrown off. So just trying to make it super functional, super creative because I'm Chico's custom creations. But uh, yeah, so that's how I'm going to end this video. Obviously, you can see here storage for all sorts of products. You need a water bottle stand? Oh, wow, look at that. That is so nice wow 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 but yeah you get the idea four different levels of shelving um this one really good really quick i liked how it turned out i really like this sun bleach stain i love the look of it um hopefully i get more projects where i can work with it in the future but that is this video thank you guys so much for watching uh please leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell I think that's the YouTube checklist of things you got to say. So until the next video, don't forget to keep God number one. Stay safe, stay healthy, fight the coronavirus. God bless.